textbook at a university in the United States. It's talking all about dextrose. At the very top, it says you can find it in two forms, in its natural form in most fruits, or in a processed form from corn, AKA corn syrup. It goes on to say that you can adjust the viscosity to form corn syrup, and then right there, I don't know if you can, okay, there we go. Corn syrup is the most familiar form of glucose. It goes on to say, High fructose corn syrup is a major sweetening agent. It consists roughly of half fructose and half dextrose. Dextrose is chemically identical to glucose, but it's not glucose. It is. It's artificially made. It's chemically identical, but it is half fructose, half dextrose. That's what each of Dextrose is. is the derivative of corn syrup. So when I said that the glucola drink is basically just high fructose corn syrup and it's, it's processed, that's what I'm talking about. No. All right, so this is a perfect example of somebody providing a citation that is accurate, but they are misinterpreting it and miscommunicating it and using it to back a claim, but in fact, it does not back the claim that they are making. So the background here is that this person told her OBGYN that she did not want to drink the glucose drink for the gestational diabetes test, and instead she wanted to drink 100% fruit juice. Her OBGYN accurately told her that that is not the correct type of sugar. She said that her OBGYN was incorrect. A bunch of experts, doctors, nurses, dietitians, PhDs in nutrition stitched this, commented on it, told her why it was incorrect and why you cannot use 100% fruit juice for this gestational diabetes test. This video was her response to those comments and she was trying to explain how she was correct and how she understands sugar. Obviously, that's not what this video actually shows. It shows a misunderstanding of basic sugar chemistry, which is what I want to explain. All right, so first off, she claimed that dextrose is not glucose. However, dextrose is referring to D-glucose, which is naturally occurring in things like corn and fruit, which is why you can use dextrose and glucose interchangeably. Since it is naturally occurring in corn, it can be derived from corn. So when you see dextrose on an ingredient deck, that could be derived from corn. Dextrose that is naturally occurring in fruits is the same exact chemical compound as dextrose that is derived from corn. She also stated that this was the same as high fructose corn syrup, which is incorrect. High fructose corn syrup is made by taking corn syrup, which is 100% glucose, and converting some of that glucose to fructose, which is why it's high fructose corn syrup. It's high in fructose compared to regular corn syrup, which again is glucose. So high fructose corn syrup is made up of around 50% glucose and 50% fructose, whereas corn syrup is made up of just glucose or dextrose, as you will see on the ingredient label. This glucose drink that is made for the gestational diabetes test has a very specific amount of dextrose or glucose per volume of liquid. And that is very important for this test because it is measuring your blood glucose level. So this is the reason why high fructose corn syrup couldn't be used. And it's the same reason why 100% fruit juice can't be used because other sugars will impact your blood glucose differently. So the drink has to be a specific amount of glucose per volume of liquid. If a different beverage was used that had different sugars, it could potentially miss some cases of gestational diabetes, which would obviously be a very bad thing. All right, so I just pulled up the nutrition info for 100% apple juice, and you can see here that it's a mix of sucrose, glucose, and fructose. So just like HFCS is a mix of glucose and fructose, this is a mix of those two same monosaccharides, and then also the disaccharide sucrose. And sucrose is made up of 50% glucose and 50% fructose linked by a glycosidic bond. So again, this is why fruit juice cannot be used because there is a mixture of different monosaccharides, disaccharides, and even some polysaccharides. Whereas the glucose drink literally just has glucose as the source of sugar. And that is very important to that drink and to that specific test. Now, absolutely advocate for yourself at the doctor, ask questions for things that you don't understand. If there is a reason why you can't drink this glucose drink, you can ask them if there are alternatives, but please don't be getting information about this kind of stuff from people on TikTok that clearly don't have an understanding of basic chemistry. Making informed decisions about your health is always important, but you need to make sure that that information is coming from a reputable source and is accurate information because it can lead to harmful outcomes if you are basing those decisions on misinformation.